I can barely understand you. Still can't understand you. Hung up on me. What's going on guys? It's Isaac. Today I'm working on the Biscayne again. Well, not really the Biscayne, but like the the engine part of it. So I've been on the phone trying to find a uh, turbo manifold. Uh, they are out of stock, but he's supposed to be calling me back and letting me know when they can get it back in stock. And uh, so I am going to do some performance mods to a cylinder head for my 250 inline six. I'm not taking the head directly off my engine. I'm actually picking it up off of a engine that's just just so happens to be sitting on an engine stand right here in my shop. <clears throat> so, so I've got to uh, unclutter the thing and get it out here in the open so I can pull her apart. So, let me put this thing on a tri stand and get her unpacked, un stuck, uncluttered. guys I'm gonna be pulling the exhaust and intake manifold off of this six cylinder I hope it's a 250 I, I can't seem to uh, figure out if it's a 230 or a 250 I've got some uh, numbers an engine code on it let me see if you can see it so right behind the distributor on this engine I have F as in fish 0203TF F0203TF and I keep punching it into the uh, I keep googling the number can't find anything so if y'all would let me know if this is a 230 or a T so let me know if this is a 250 or a 230 guys because I can't seem to figure it out but I'm going to be pulling the head off of it anyways, and I'll just keep my fingers crossed that I got the right uh, engine. So, pulling the exhaust and intake manifold off, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop the bolt casting out of the intake ports, um, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's to help open it up and let it breathe better. So. I'm going to leave the cylinder head bolted on because it'll help hold it in place, I guess. That's my thoughts. So anyhow, let's, let's, let's just get to work. like a really clean inline six. I don't see a lot of sludge. I see a casting number of the head here. Number 387278. 387208. What that comes out to. Alright, so I need to remove one, two, three head bolts, and then I'm gonna get a sawzall 
and I'm going to massacre this head in the name of horsepower. Hopefully I'm not really ruining it. Hopefully making it better. So uh, let's do it. So I've got those pieces cut out. I've got all the head bolts out. Let's see if I can pry this head off. As soon as I find a, a good spot. There's a good spot. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> you know. I, I sure hope there isn't anything wrong with this head. All right, let's lift her off and set her up somewhere.
one more thing I want to hit on this car in this video and that's the steering. I have a quarter turn on the steering wheel before it does anything. So I've got several steering boxes here on the floor. I'll just pick out which one fits and I'm going to install it in the car. So there's the steering box right there. It doesn't look too bad to replace. I might have to get a Pittman arm puller. whatsoever it is tight loving it yes <clears throat> all right guys I don't know if y'all know what was going on in, in the earlier video with me dropping the head off at the machine shop I mean of course I'm gonna get work done on the head but I'm getting oversized valves installed in it and all the little secrets for going fast you know in the name of speed so that's uh that's what's going on with the head oversized valves porting and polishing all kinds of good stuff Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, hopefully next video I'll be doing camshaft, header, four barrel carburetor, and uh, I plan on taking it to the drag strip, uh, NA, you know, without the turbo. That's the plan, and then turbo it, so we'll see. Uh, Hot Rod Power Tour is coming up fast. I'm uh, I'm gonna make it. It just if it if it comes down to it, and I don't have the turbo set up for it, I'll just have the uh, header, four barrel carburetor, and uh, cam in it, and make the tour, and then uh, turbo it when I get back. But you know, I'm still on for the turbo. I'm still planning on having the turbo installed on it for the tour. So, alright guys, I'll catch y'all later.